Hello and welcome to Geek Knows. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to make a nice simple rig in Blender in under six minutes. So let's get started. First of all, import your character, go into the front facing view, press Shift A, single bone, and then press Tab to go into edit mode. Come down to this box here, open up the viewport display down here and click in front. This will help when making the rig. So now press GZ, bring it up to about here. Press S to scale it, GZ. Now I'm gonna name this one the root. So press FN2 root and i'll click on this part of the bone here and click e z bring up to about there and do e z again e z for the neck e z for the head now we're going to enable the bones but before we do that we're going to move them over so press g to where you think the spine would be g so the neck aligns do this for what, how your character is it'll be different for all types of characters press g and move that over to about there now we're going to name this one FN2, so lower back is what it's going to be called. This one will be named upper back, so FN2. Lovely. And this will be called the neck. FN2 for head. Perfect. Now, click on this part of the bone here. Click E for the shoulder. Go to the X view here. Make sure it aligns so it's not completely aligned. Go to Z to make sure. Perfect. We're going to call this one the shoulder bone. So FN2, shoulder. And now the end part, you put dot L. This is very important because when we come to using symmetry to copy it over to the other side for the right-hand side, it's very important that we have the L so the computer knows which is left and right. So now we've made this part here. We're going to do that again, but bring it down to where the wrist bone is. And then do it again to the end of the fingers. So this is going to be called the upper arm. Dot L. FN2 lower arm dot L and then hand dot L. Bring these over so that they go to the right places and match where they're meant to be. I'm not going to be doing individual finger rigs for this video because it takes up too much time and it's not worth it for a beginner's rig. So first of all, we're going to go down to here, click E to exclude G, bring it over here, rotate it, shift click here, click control P and put keep offset. This is very important for when we do the legs. Now press G to move this over to where the kneecap is. E, bring it down to where the, just above the foot. X, so go for the side view here. So the X on this bit there. Press G to move it over. E, bring it to the end of the foot. E backwards and then E this way as well. Press Alt P, clear parent. Alt P, clear parent. Press G, Y, move it over to about there. Name this one upper leg. Dot L. And then lower leg dot L. FN2. Um, foot dot L. And this one's going to be called IK target dot L. These are very important for the legs. And then IK pole dot L. So now we've got that, we're going to make sure that everything's named. So it tells you here. Perfect. Now we've done that. Click on this bone here. Come down to the bone constraints part here and unclick the form. Same for this one as well. Now you want to press control tab and go to pose mode. Click on this bone here. Go to the side view or whatever you want to do. Go to object, uh, bone constraints, sorry, inverse kinematics. I'm going to click the armature as our target. And for the target, you need to type the target bone, the one we just named. And then for pole, same armature. And then the pole bone we just named. As you can see, it looks a bit weird. So press, so put two in for chain length. And this bone here is a bit messed up. This is different for all different rigs. So I'm going to put 180 degrees, it should fix it. So we press G now. As you can see, it bends the rig. But sometimes the knee can go off at a weird angle. That can be altered in the rig at a later date by just moving this bone slightly over. We need to go onto this bone here and add a copy rotation. Armature, target, and then you want to do local space, local space. You want to do the X and Y axis. So now we press R, Y, it rotates. R, X, it rotates. And R, Z, both rotate correctly. So press tab to go back into edit mode. Click A to select all of the bones. Now press FN3, type in symmetrize, press it. Now we've got that. Perfect. 
press control tab to go into um, object mode and you want to click on the character and then your rig and then click control P with automatic weights. Now we have automatic weights put on, it should move correctly with the rig. So press control tab to go into um, pose mode. G, as you can see, all of the bones move accordingly now and you can move the arms by rotating the neck and the head moves. So thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for more content.